The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 478 pounds. Ali B. Walters and Patrick Harris. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Two-time NXT Tag Team Champions, winners of the 2018 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, members of the Undisputed Era, O'Reilly and Strong are ready to take over. You talk about two men who have all the tools, all the ability to accomplish big things in WWE. signs of fatigue. He's really going to need to create some space Yikes. for himself. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Perhaps he has dinner plans to get to. I don't know. There has to be some reason for him showing next to no offense here tonight. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks! He's in a little bit of trouble now. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. You gotta believe this one's over. I knew it was only a matter of time. Kyle Riley's chances just went from bad to worse. Beautiful technique. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Beautiful sent home. Slam down hard. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Yeah. 
Tag Team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team. Here he goes. This one's over, guys. Wow, running senton. Man, that's going to hurt. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to the resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown tag team. And if he hits this, this one's over. Nasty impact. Wow, I'm just going for the cover. He's looking at it. the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Jake Woods, Big E, and Cody Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. <laughs> now that got those shoulders on the map. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the... Here it comes, Michael. Truth or consequences? That should do it. Kyle Wyatt's chances just went from bad to worse. This might be it. Oh, my. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton or inside. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Here it comes, Michael. Truth or consequences? But he's running off fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar.
Naomi did an excellent job of making sure the quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but the tap out. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Look at the height. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, he's almost there. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, my boy. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor. He wants it one more time. Oh, what impact. Victory is on the horizon. Tagged in. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go! Phoenix Splash! It's heating up now! Superstars in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Ooh. Oh boy, he is real. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. Here it comes, Michael. Nailed it. This one is over. This is classic tag team wrestling. Double team in effect. Oh, damage to the body. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. That changes everything. Going for broke. Oh boy, he is powerbomb. Planet. Game, set, match. This one is over. This could end it in a hurry. <laughs> That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is classic tag team wrestling. Double team in effect. Got every out of that one. This could be over. Kyle O'Reilly's chances just went from bad to worse. I think we know what this is. This might be it. Oh, my. Just when you thought he had nothing left. This is going to be big, one way or another. He looks for it once again. Look at this. You gotta believe this one's over. He goes for the cover. Pen's broken up. He might have it. 
is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Oh, uh, this is dangerous right here. Look at this! He's making a statement here with this attack. Here he goes. <laughs> what a fall. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Look at this. Bam. What a slam. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. We have seen him here before. Look out! Big height, bigger impact. That has got to be it. And we have our winners. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners, Ali B. Walters. And Patrick Harris. Big pinfall victory here tonight. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future.